So we are in a new year, it's 2024 now, but I doubt anybody had on their New Year's resolution list sanitation. However, um, electric bidet seats are awesome. I put my first one in during 2020, technically during the toilet paper scare of 2020, um, and I have not looked back. So this is the third bidet seat that I have fully installed, tested, and now reviewed on this channel. This is the Aqua Space electric bidet seat. And I'll be honest, for the money, this is pretty awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start in my restroom where I have this installed and have been using now for well, a little bit longer than I wanna even mention. It's been a couple months. Uh, so I guess uh, let's get started by joining me in my bathroom. Okay, so here we are in my bathroom. I apologize for any echo, but if you've ever used a uh, bidet seat, it is a seat that sits above the toilet. Now it does have to be an elongated bowl toilet rather than a round bowl. So if you have a round bowl, you'd have to replace your toilet seat or your toilet, apologize, to use this seat. That said, that's all you really need other than the water hookup and an electrical supply down at least near the toilet. In this case, I have not added my um, outlet down here yet. So I am still using an electrical cord from my, um, from my outlet that's next to the sink. Uh, that said, this is the seat. Um, it is a soft closed seat automatically. So lid as well as seat itself. So if I drop the seat, it's nice soft close. Uh, it has a several features, but they're all remote controlled. So this is typically you mount on the wall. I still have my other one mounted on the wall over here uh, from my other seat that I had down here. Uh, but that's where this is probably going to go as well. Um, but I do test them out. So I, I didn't stick this to the wall yet. That said, this is the remote. Uh, but we have a dryer uh, down here. We have a rear wash and we have a front wash. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, rear wash is, well, the rear end. The front wash is for you ladies. And then we do have this directional pad with a stop button in the center. Uh, this allows us to increase pressure, decrease pressure uh, on the actual item itself or move. Um, so if you're, if you're sitting down and you start washing and it's not quite lined up, you can move your bottom or you can actually hit the plus and minus on here, or I'm sorry, forward and backward on here and move the wash jet a little bit. Typically, once you move it to the spot where you like it, you leave it and you just wash and you just hit the wash button and go. Um, there is temperature in here, so this does have a water heater. It also has a heater in the dryer as well. So down here, there's a water temp button. Um, I'll show you this here in a minute. There's a seat temp button. Um, this is a heated seat. There is a night light. If I click on that, I don't know if you can see, but this is actually lit up. However, with the night light mode, it stays on even with the lid closed and everything. It kind of just comes out. Um, so but it does have that mode. Um, and then there's a deodorizer, which if I click on, once you sit down immediately, it does do a, a wash cycle to sanitize the end, but it actually runs a deodorizer while you're on the seat. So I'm gonna click that back. Oh, oh, it's on right there, there we go. Um, I am gonna sit on this, but before I do that, Okay, so I put some saran wrap on here so we can actually see what's going on. Um, if you're not sitting on the seat, the buttons, which you can see here, don't really do anything, right? Because it has uh, the capability of knowing if you're sitting on the seat or not. So if I put my hand uh, on one of the sensors, there we go, now it has skin contact. Now I can push this uh, rear wash button and then you can see what happens. Oh, not quite, didn't quite hit that right. All right. Now you can see that it's using the nozzle that's toward the back. If I hit the front wash button, it's gonna keep it out maybe. Just make sure that it actually does thing. And it's washing the head off essentially. There we go. Now it goes back down, down further, uses the front nozzle and is now a lot further forward. 
And then if I hit the stop button, or let's say if I want to move it forward or back, I can hit, now it's all the way forward, I can move it, and that's what it's doing when you're moving it. I'm gonna hit stop, I'm gonna go ahead and let that come back up. And the big thing about this is you can hear that little tinkling. That's the wash head. So in between those wash cycles, when it was going from rear to front wash, pulled all the way back in, washed the nozzle off, because the last thing you want is you want to blast your front area with juice from the rear. And that's specifically on purpose. Uh, the dryer, which I don't have to, well, I'm gonna, I'll have my hand here, I have to have that. But dryer is actually gonna come out of right here. You're not gonna see anything other than that door flapping around. But if I hit, I can increase or decrease. Not, not changing a whole lot, but then I can hit stop and it'll kind of taper down there. The water temperature, the uh, the seat temperature, those are all things. So if I hit water temp, you can see the, the lights here. I can increase or decrease depending on how hot I want the water. Um, and the same thing with the seat temp. Right now I have it off because we don't need it, but at the same time, uh, you can adjust that as you see fit. So that's that's the big item there. So the things I really like about this seat is the actual water pressure is good. The drying capability is good. I wouldn't put it at the top of the list, but it's not a $600 seat either. Um, the front wash, I can't say much about, but uh, it's very similar to the back wash. It's, and of course it's aimed better uh, for that specific purpose. But the nice thing is, is that you have the adjustment of moving that uh, head back or forward and then leaving it, once, it, once it's placed where you want it, it stays. You don't have to readjust it every time. This remote works really, really well. The water temperature is good. The seat temperature, the heater is good. And the, the air heater for the drying capability, also good. To be honest, solid seat for the money. Um, it does have the soft closed lids and of course has the deodorizer in addition to the nightlight. The nightlight is one of those things that I don't use very much um, because it's always on in this bathroom with how the, the light back here is, or the motion, or the um, light sense capability is. So no matter what, it's always on for me here um, because this bathroom stays dark and where the lights are, they're not very bright and it's just complete shadow over here where the sensor is. So you can kind of see that where that was, but all in all, the best feature of this, other than the standard wash, things like that, is the inclusion of the, the wash mechanism in between cycles. Because the last thing you want to do is sit on a bidet and, and wonder whether or not you're getting cleaned with somebody else's previous cleanings. Um, you want to make sure that the, the wash head is as clean as it can be before you're washing yourself. And this has that cycle. Every time you sit down, it washes the head off every single time. And I think that's one of the biggest features that gets overlooked when people look at bidets is having a head that is self-cleaning so you don't have to clean it near as frequently. Now, of course, when you clean the toilet, you're gonna to probably wipe this th stuff down, but you're not gonna pull the mechanism all the way out. And the nice thing about this is it does it for you. So it substantially reduces how dirty this seat's gonna get. So that is the Aquaspace, um, well, the AS1211 electric bidet seat. So how much would you pay for this fine piece of booty washing design? Well, 275. $275 is what you can buy, purchase this for at least today. Um, I will put links in the description where you could buy this directly um, on Amazon. Um, if you want to take a peek at it, definitely take a peek at it and let me know what you think. But it is, quite frankly, a fantastic seat for the money. My very first seat um, was right around that $500 level. And my second seat was even more expensive than that. Both of those are fantastic seats. But there's nothing that they have that this doesn't other than the uh, discovery dls that i have has automatic opening and closing lid aside from that this has everything and i'll be honest most people don't want that feature because of course it's one more thing that could break on it but some people just don't like you know if i'm by the toilet and it just automatically lids the lid well maybe i didn't want to go to the toilet so that said 
For what this is and how much this costs, this is a pretty fantastic seat. Check it out at the links in the description. Let me know what you think. Let me let everybody know what you think. If you have used one of these before, comment in the section below. Let everybody know what you actually think uh, uh, from your time using it. Um, yeah, so check it out in the links. Uh, share, subscribe the video if you can for me. Give me a good thumbs up if you like this video or if you like bidets or if you like this channel or whatever. I appreciate every thumbs up. It helps boost this channel, this, uh, this video and uh, helps me out. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. I will have links to other videos that I've done in the past here at the end. And I have done videos on other bidet seats. So I will put those in the description as well. So thanks for watching. Also, I do have a install video on my GeekSmart channel. Also, we'll link to that in the description. So check that out. Thanks for watching to the end again. We'll catch you again here on TechHooch for another video review. See you soon.